everyone, I'm Heather from Painted World Fiber Arts and this is going to be a yarn adventure and vlog together. I am going to one of the local yarn shops that are out here in North um, SoCal, California where I live and I'm going to be visiting a whole bunch of other yarn events and Northern California things that are all local things in the area because this is getting towards the end of the year where there's a lot of events and I'm so excited to do it and also I've been wanting to get to these yarn shops because I am in desperate need of finding really fun multicolored yarn and rainbow yarn for my stuffed toys that I make as well as if they have any super fuzzy yarn I am so excited to be looking at and playing with and stuff I will film inside the shop if they allow me if not I will show you what I get and talk more about it so let's take a ride down there and have a nice yarn fun adventure I arrived at the yarn shop and I think it is opened. I am excited to be going inside of it. It is actually right near my dentist and I've drove by it so many times. It was so easy to find and it's like not far from my house. It's like a few minutes drive but I'm super excited to go inside and check out all the yarn. The name of the shop is called Yarning For You and I will put the link down below as well as I will show you the yarn that I end up purchasing if I purchase any. I hope they let me video inside so that I can show you the beautiful yarn that they have on hand. They also have an online shop if you're interested in checking them out or want to order any of the yarn that I have. I'm not sure if it's available on the site but you can check it out and I'm excited to go inside and see what it's all about. really nice local yarn shop it has beautiful yarn as well as the owner is super nice and kind she even let me um, take a little bit of video footage of the yarn and then I ended up buying some yarn it was success a success at finding rainbow yarn she had so many gorgeous colors to look for I'm gonna head home and then I'm going to talk more about what all went, went on when I'm in there talk to you soon I am back from going to the local yarn shop. It was so much fun going there. Nothing but good things to say. And I'm so excited to show you these yarn beauties that I got at the yarn shop. I ended up getting this beautiful tweeted light gray yarn. It's gonna be making a little sharky because they have at the yarn shop, they have a giveaway going on yarn basket sort of thing that um, if you make a shark this month that you will end up getting entered in to win a prize which is so cool and they end up donating it to one of the children I think it's the children's hospital it's in their web page that's linked down below if you don't want it or you can just keep the toy at the end and I just think it's just so fun because I've been wanting to make a sharky toy since um, my cousin
cousin told me that it was shark week a couple weeks ago and me my son and the hubby we all went out to this really fun event and saw some sharks and now that i'll be talking more about on podcast and i'm so excited to be making sharks now that i um a little less busy with some yarn projects i'm gonna be able to make more things more things and stuff and i'll show you guys how it looks in the podcast but it's, i'm going to be using this for like the body it's going to be like this color on the top part of the body and the fin it is this gray tweeted yarn it's like a light gray with black tweeds in it and it is the yarn brand is uh, mazula i think it's how you say it M-Z-U-L-A, Luxury Fibers, it's in their yarn base dotty, it is a fingering sock, sock weight, and it's hand dyed in Fresno, California. At the yarn shop, they had all these local dyers th that she um, had for sale their yarn. I am so excited <laughs> that I got to buy some local yarn because I've been wanting to do that for a while and her yarn shop had so much of it, it's gorgeous. And uh, this is a 80% super merino, 70% acrylic, and 3% polyester. It's in the color gravity. It is, the yards are 420 yards, 384 meters. And she had other colors with this brand. They were all super gorgeous. She had a multicolored one. Oh, I wanted them all. They were so pretty and I just oh, can't wait to get more tweeted and if this crochet is so nice with toys like I think it will, I'll be getting more. And if not, I'll be getting more to make something like a shawl or, or a scarf because I think it would just be so gorgeous and fun to play with and oh, tweeted yarn is just so nice and this is like really nice tweeted yarn because it has little like pieces of yarn in there and it just gives it such a nice texture and pretty look oh it's so gorgeous and then this is going to be the bottom part of the shark it's a super nice white yarn it is but then it also ha it's like off white it's very very pretty and so so soft i saw it underneath these other this other yarn that i almost got and i was like this is my yarn she had so many different colors that were like solid colors of this yarn brand and I just wanted more of it and I can't wait to get more of it oh it's so gorgeous and it is um it is fingering weight sock yarn so it is thin but it's super nice and it's in the color orchid it is the fiber company east um 2003 it is on their canopy fingering fruits of the forest yarn base it is a blend of bamboo baby apel uh, not <laughs> baby apelka and merino wool it is um yarn weight fingering scheme weight 50 grams fiber content is 50 percent apelka 30 percent wool 20 percent uh vice vice coast v-i-s-c-o-s-e be the bamboo and the length is 183 meters 200 yards tension is 28 to 32 stitches 10 centimeters 4 inches and you can knit or crochet with it oh it's so gorgeous this yarn it is so pretty i really am excited to be crocheting with it and making turkey with it uh th so the rules of the contest i mean not contest the rules of their uh, giveaway gift basket were that you had to use their yarn to make the toy so I ended up getting some black yarn for the gills and for the mouth but I also will be using it on other projects and this is from um, I think he's pronounced it U E W E R E W E and it's on the Uso Sporty washable 100% merino super wash yarn it is gorgeous and she also had the fingering uh, another fingering one which was in sock of this they were all solid color yarns gorgeous 
I got this because it was a little thicker and just I felt that would be more better for a stuffed toy and everything. The others would be great for socks, but it also tells you to make scarves like they have mentioned on the side. Oh, it's awesome. And I think she's a local dyer or a local yarn person. And I think that is so cool. I'm excited to be playing with it and I've seen it around online I've been wanting it for a while and so excited to finally have some ah, I want all the colors and it was reasonably priced I really liked it and oh, all the yarn was reasonably priced it was awesome it was like going instead of going online it was like buying in person it was amazing and then I got this amazing like multicolor speckly yarn, but it's more on the blue and has some yellow and purple and pink. It has a little bit of everything in it, but it has a little more blue in it. And she had all these amazing speckly yarns. They're all different in their own unique way. I want to get them all, but this one is super pretty. It is sock weight. It is super soft and it's uniquely dyed. I'm going to be making probably some toys or a shawl with it. And it's in, um, the colorway is called Machetta, or me, oh, M-E-C-H-I-T-A Galaxy. It is from Malbra, Malabridge, M-A-L-A-B, oh, Bringo, sorry, Malabringo, M-A-L-A-B-R-I-G-O. And it's in the colorway galaxy like I just said and it is 100% um, merino super wash it is 100 grams 420 yards it is and it's made in Peru she had yarn from all over the world but she also had a lot of go local yarn too which is awesome and this is so pretty I really love it I love everything about it I can't wait to play with it I was gonna get some of the others but I just like that this has a little blue purpley thing going on and I like the dark on one end but then it's lighter on the other gorgeous gorgeous yarn I can't wait to play with it then I did get my rainbow yarn like I said in the beginning like I wanted to get I found it and oh, this was calling my name as soon as I saw it I saw this other one that was right near it almost got that but then I chose this one because I just thought this was more the kind of yarn I was looking for it is sock fingering but it's very nice and has a lot of little pointy on it and I really love how it's very nice nice sock yarn it is called rainbow shield bug and it's from uh, round mountain fibers which is she um, takes nature and then she names her yarn with it and so everything's inspired by nature and she dyes it inspired by nature which is awesome love that she is it's handmade in vermont so it's from vermont and it is uh says spruce 100 percent super wash merino grown and spun in the u.s and it's the 100 gram fingering 400 yards, which is the full skein because she did have some minis, but I just saw the full skeins in the area that I was, and I think that's all that was there. I didn't really, after I saw this, I wasn't really searching for anything else. So I was like, of course, I want full skein of that, not half. So it's super pretty, beautiful rainbow yarn. I'm excited. I can't wait to show you what I make with it. and. I want to make it for stuffed toys as well as other things but I just think it'll be so fun and it would make a fun pair of socks oh my gosh if I like how it works out which is highly likely then I might buy some for some socks finally get to make my socks that I've been wanting to make for like ever then I ended up getting this other sock yarn it is sport weight it's blue with lots of other colors in it it's like pinks and purples and it has green and some other colors and like all kinds of things going on it's multicolored it's beautiful 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 yarn it is for, uh, the name of the the name of the the 
Dyer brand is a lot Alan sorry O L A N N it's hung and dyed in Ireland it's so cool it is Saxport it is 365 meters 100 gram 80% superwash merino 20% nylon so so pretty I can't wait to use this and make something really pretty with it maybe be a shawl or something say she had a whole bunch of colors that would match with it all perfect for that or it'd be something else if not I'm so excited to to be making something beautiful with this or stuff toy with this oh excited I love all these beautiful yarns that I got they were so, they are so pretty and I definitely want to buy more th more yarn from her. I was happy that she let me make a little mini video of the yarn that she has and I was super excited to be able to talk to the owner and she had a lot of good info. She told me all about how they have knit crochet night on Mondays and then they also have other yarn get to the others like they have one going on Saturday that I'm going to it's like you get to um, test out some yarn and you get to try out some yarn samples that is not just <laughs> test out yarn samples that's it and then you get to sit down and eat food and uh, and touch beautiful yarn and knit up some samples and hang out with some awesome people as well as uh, see this yarn samples and see what kind of yarn that you would like to get from them or you get in your goodie bag which is so cool and I'm so excited to um, go and get out and talk to other yarn crafty people and hang out and eat some yummy food as well as play with beautiful yarn and just like have a great night on Saturday I can't wait to tell you all what happens once that happens and I can't wait to tell all of you uh, more about my knitting crochet adventures with um, go attending some knit crochet nights as well as getting out and doing some things like they do the yarn crawl in September which I really want to do which is just a bunch of local vendors getting together that sell that are yarn dyers that sell a yarn and they um, get together and they showcase all their yarn and there's a lot of other yarn fun events that go on around it and I'm so excited because I've been eyeing that for like a year and I and then a lot of it's down in San Diego downtown ish area and that's a little bit of a drive from where I am so this is great that there's one that they bring in a little that they're gonna be down there and I get to go with a group of people and hang out and it's gonna be so fun as well as a lot of other yarn events they have going on um, the yarn shop is linked down below that I went to and I'm excited to go to have many other yarn events that are going to be going on there's going to be lots of videos going on soon as well as some live streams and some crochet knit together with all of you because I love doing that as well as a podcast coming up and I'm excited to show you more yarny adventures as well as I'm going to be crocheting on the beach and making some toys and I'm excited to go down to the beach and get out of the house and have a little different environment while chatting with all of you and showing you how beautiful the SoCal beaches are out here because they really truly are and I'm going to try to go when there's not a lot of people so it'll be kind of early in the morning we tried to do it on Saturday but didn't get up early enough and then last week I was going to do this yarn adventure that I went on today but I ended up having to wait for my car registration to come in the mail so now that that's all updated there's going to be a lot of fun stuff going on I have a whole bunch of things it's getting closer to the end of the year like I was saying and that's when tons of yarn events happen and I'm so excited to be sharing them with you as well as sharing all the things that I'm be crocheting up since it is getting towards the busy season right now it's not that busy with the crochet stuff toys in my shop right now but it will get busy as the year gets on but I'm going to definitely show all of you it and I am excited that to be back here videoing with all of you and I can't wait to get to 
know all of you and crochet with all of you. Oh, and there's going to be the crochet and knit along that I am going to be announcing soon. It's going to be a little bit of a long term one, but they're two different ones, and you can um, go to and you can join both of them or just one of them. I'm going to be making a Facebook group about it as well as showing all of you a video on it and um, doing some live uh, crochet knit alongs uh, with all of you as well as um, some videos with it to show you all what I'm working on and I'm excited to be announcing those soon and I have lots of other good stuff that's going to be going on um, I will talk to you on the next video and I hope you all have an awesome wonderful beautiful day and afternoon no matter where you are from if you would like to subscribe to this channel please do if you would like to um, if you'd like to um, leave me a comment. I love each and every one of them. They are all um, very, very appreciated and they make me smile and thank you for all your kind words always. I really love how kind and nice you are and and how I just, oh, I just really love this community of, of crochet and the artists and yarn art artists that we have created here on YouTube. I, Oh, I just love it so much and I love all your comments and I love each and every one of them so much I really do uh, thank you thank you for them as well as if you would like to help support me and my family um, please please do by ordering something on my Etsy shop as well as if you would like to um, if you'd like to join me on any of my social medias, they're all linked down below. As well as if you would like to, um, as well as my blog is linked down below. If you'd like to email me, and that is about it. Talk to you on the next video. Bye bye.